made us to appear in your presence once again. Thank you, Father Lord. The lions are falling onto us in pleasant places because we have a good heritage. Thank you for today, now. Thank you for a day of hearing your word once again. Illuminate our hearts with your light. As we hear this word, so Lord Father, our lives will never remain the same again. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking charge. And I bind every spirit that is not of God, every monitoring spirit, every spirit of distraction within the tradition of my voice. I command you to go into captivity in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I plead the blood of Jesus upon every heart and every ear. Just let every ear that have been circumcised to receive God's work and let them abide and bring forth fruit in the middle of gold in Jesus' mighty name. Pray. Yeah. We have visited in every place in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The word of God is coming to me and it's time to don't sell your birthright. Don't sell your birthright. Today, a lot of people are willingly handing their birthright over to Satan. Willingly. A lot of people are selling their birthright. A lot have sold already. Most people are still selling. And if you is not taking, Greater people will still sell. Whenever you reject God's process, then you are in to sell your birthright. If you try to reject the process of God, God has a process. The moment that process is being rejected, then the person is in to sell his or her birthright to Satan. And it's very difficult to reverse. And it's very difficult to recover. Yeah. 
It's a stolen title. As far as I'm concerned, I've contested with Central Central about that title. The God of this world. I don't believe he's the God of the world. The world has never been given to him. He stole the title. And as long as I'm concerned, stolen title is not a good title. Especially when the owner, the real owner appears. So Satan is ready to say, and that was why when he took Jesus for the de temptation in the book of Luke chapter 4, look at what he told him Jesus with impunity. And that was exactly what happened in Genesis. He related it to Jesus. In the book of Genesis, uh, uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 6. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whosoever I will, I give it. He told Jesus, I will give you all this power. This power has been delivered unto me by Adam and Eve. They gave it to me. They sold their bread and I collected it. I'm in charge now. Anybody I want, I can give it to you. So bow down to me. It's a stolen title by a common criminal called Satan. And they're still looking for better life. But Jesus was wiser than me. And he told him, no way. I know the title you are having is the stolen title. So you can't give what you don't have. And what of God said, after the title was stolen, curse is stupid. The book of Romans chapter 3, 23. For all have seen and come short of the glory of God. When birth right is stolen, we should be very careful with our birth right. Don't sell your birth right because of peanuts. Because it's dangerous. And recovery is not easy. Esau sold his birth right very cheap. What about the say when Jacob sought porridge? When Jacob sought porridge, Esau came and he did not control himself. A lot of people today are Esau. They have sold their birthright with most of food. They have sold their birthright and they are still selling. In the book of Genesis, chapter 25, I read 29 to 34. And Jacob sought porridge, and Esau came from the field, and he was paid. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pay thee, with the same red porridge. For I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point of to die. And what porridge shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. And Jacob gave him some bread and porridge of lentils. And he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus, Esau despised his birthright. Be careful. Don't sell your birthright for morsels of red porridge. That was what happened to Esau. When he saw the food, he lost control. The greatest thing that can happen to your life is self-control. Self -control. And it's given by the Holy Spirit. Anybody that has no self-control can fall for anything. Self-control. In every area of your life, if you don't have self-control, you keep on falling. You keep on selling your bed right until there's nothing to sell again. It was said that he will not, he will die, he will not eat the better and give it his porridge. It's a lie. He will have not died. And Jacob was a strategist. He said, Listen, I will not give you the porridge until you sell your better right to me. He said, What is the better right to me? Take it and give me porridge. To her with the better right. What God said, he smiles the better right. His better right. He suffered for it. And when you begin to move now, the next thing that follows, anytime you lose your better right, Complain, frustration, reproach, you enter. Look at this chapter 27, verse 36. 27, 36. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supported me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. And he said, has that not reserved a blessing for me? That is the agony and the plight of 
a person that could not control himself. It was blaming Jacob. Jacob did not rip him off. Jacob did not collect the birthright at the point of God. Because he was not having self-control, he put his birthright for sale. Jacob bought it. And that was why, you see, when you check, you see that God is a just, a just God. That was why God delayed him. That he was in the field. Until Jacob finished getting the blessing. I want to say immediately Jacob finished getting the blessing from Isaac, their father, Israel. He could not get the blessing because he has sold it and he, he undermined his blessings. He disregarded his blessings. It is better right. Your birthright is the glory you have on earth. The moment you lose it, you become nobody. I pray today that God will give you strength and power Amen. to be able to sustain and retain your birthright. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at what happened, how the writer of Hebrew described this man, this man of calamity called Esau. In the book of Hebrew chapter 12, I read verse and 17. Let them be any fornicator or profane person as they saw, who for one muscle of me sold his birthright. For he knew how that afterwards, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. There was no place of repentance for Esau. He was crying, but tears could not solve his problem because he has sold his birthright. He said, "We should not be we should not we should not just go and waste our lives like Esau, who for the muscle of food sold his birthright, and he sought it out carefully. He despised it initially. Later, he sought it out carefully with tears this time." But he could not recover it. It is very difficult to recover a soul bed right. So you need to be very careful on how you manage your bed right. Praise God. And no need to cry when the head is off already. If someone was shedding tears, but the drain has left the station, he could not recover it again. Poor Esau, he lost it all. And he died miserable. That was a man that was supposed to get. The double portion of what the inheritance of the grandfather has. For he despised his blessings and he ate his blessing in a porridge. All his birthright was sold with one plate of porridge and ate it. Porridge. A lot of people are selling their birthright today with one plate of porridge. They will sell off. They will sell the birthright. And I will tell you what does it matter. At the end of the day, it will matter. Praise God. It will matter when it matters. So you have to be careful. In order not to see for matter. Praise God. So let us watch and see how we manage our benefits. A man also in Israel that's supposed to be one of the greatest men in Israel is so different. His name was Ruben. Reuben sold his birthright in the book of Genesis chapter 35. He went and slept in the father's house of mine. He sold his birthright. Genesis chapter 35, verse 22. And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in that land that Reuben went and lay with Bilal, his father's house of mine. And Israel heard it. Praise God. He went and slept with the father's concubine. The father knew that he had slept with the concubine. The father did not talk to him. The father waited for the day of birthright distribution. And the day of birthright distribution, when Jacob was about dying and decided to distribute birthright unto all the children in the book of Genesis chapter 49. Look at how Jacob addressed Reuben. Look at how you are blessed. There is no beauty again when you lose your birthright to become a tissue paper. Worthless. 
Genesis chapter 49, 1 to 4. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather thyself together that I may tell you that which shall be for you in the last days. Gather yourself together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. Reuben, that at my first born, my mind and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of my dignity and the excellency of power, unstable as water. Thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, and defilest thou it. He went up to my court. Praise God. When he was about distributing birthright to the children, he first of all called his first born Reuben. I said, Reuben, you will not excel. You will not be somebody in life. I made inquiries from travel about the, the tribe of Ruben and I realized that they were not doing well. The way they're supposed to do as a firstborn in Israel. Why? Their father sold the birthright. He sold their birthright by sleeping with the concubine of their father. And when Jacob heard it, he did not talk. When it was time for him to go back to God, he called all his children. He told Ruben, you are not going to prosper. You are unstable like water. You slept with my concubine. I knew it, but I did not tell you. And it caused Ruben. Say, birthright shall not be yours. Look at how Chronicles put it down. The birthright of Ruben was transferred to Joseph. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter 5, verse 1 to 2. Don't sell your birthright. That's the word we It's a, it's a great caution that is coming. I don't know how or how you are, you are, the, the devil is programming it, but I'm giving you a warning from God. Don't ever drink your birthright. Now I read book of Chronicles chapter 5 verse 1. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but for as much as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. And the genealogy is not to be recalled after the birthright. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler. But the birthright was Joseph. Judah was a third son, but he was qualified to be the firstborn. By the reason of Reuben selling out, Judah became the ruler. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. Judah is still ruling Israel up to today. Why? The firstborn sold his birthright and he got nothing. I pray that God will have mercy and guide you over your birthright in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to conclude on this area. One of the most sectors we have, especially in Nigeria now, where birthright are sold every day. Every day Satan is buying self birthright. It's a money ritual. People are selling their birthright every day in money ritual. You may not understand what they call, you know, they just put the name Yahoo and they now, you know, make it to look as if it's simple. It's not. People's destinies and birthright are being sold on a daily basis and they can't recover it. Because Ritual money is a deception of Satan for people to sell out. You know, he lies to them. God has failed to give you money. Come, I will give you money. And the moment they go, they will start seeing money. They will think that the devil has given them money. It's a lie. It's your money that you are eating. The only thing Satan does in ritual money is this. He will bargain with that person. If he's a person that's supposed to be 90 years before he will die, or 100 years, he will tell him, you will die in the next five years. Do I agree? He says, yes, I'll give you money. So the whole money is supposed to enjoy within those days. He will give it unto the people. The devil does not have anything to give. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Go and tell anybody that you are who they have no future. I'm not costing them. I'm telling you the facts. Anybody 
is it too money ritual? Watch them. The next four, five years, their future is finished. They will be like tissue walking on the streets. They are finished. The word of God calls Satan. In the book of John chapter 8, verse 44, he says, Satan is a liar and is a father of all lies. He said, if he's talking lies, he's talking about, he is he's from, he's from community of lies. He's an epitome of lie. And he's, 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 he's a demonstration of lie. Everything about Satan is lie. So to make you to think that God has abandoned you, he will bring that money. You are spending and you are, you are giving glory to him. He will short change your life. Even if you live beyond that, for that time, the person will live beyond that those years. He will live this life. Truly, he will be begging to die. Himself will be the one begging to die. There is no future in Yahoo. There is no future in money, in money, this money, uh, ritual money. And let me tell you another reason. Let, let me open your eyes again. If you have your brother or sister that is in Yahoo, don't think that is having money now. Don't think you are lucky. You are the most unlucky person on earth. If your brother is, is in Yahoo, or your sister is in Yahoo, and is having money, you are the most unlucky. The moment you participate of that money, your bed right is taken away. Don't ever patronize or align yourself with somebody that is into money ritual. Why do you think that they are why do you think that they are extravagant to spend it? You think somebody is giving free money? They will come to market, they will start spreading money for people to pick. They are collecting their bed rights. They are collecting people's bed rights. If your brother is a Yahoo or your sister is a Yahoo, please be very prayerful to pray yourself out of their hands. Because they will come in the family, they will collect all the bed rights and all the destiny and destiny of all the people in the family and pull it together. That is what multiplies their money. And they will carry it with a boy who can carry girls and use the girls to multiply the money. Or, I'm sorry to say, for most girls in Nigeria, they are better than God. Because they have traded their better life with iPhone. Satan has nothing to do. Don't sell your better life. That's the word. Mark it with you. Short court is the mother of life court. Don't go for short court. It does not help. Make sure you follow one process. I say, God is not slack concerning his promises. God will give you money. The word of God says, it is only the blessings of God that make it rich and add no souls. It's only God's money you can get, you enjoy it. Any other money outside God will pay dearly for it. Your bed right is not. Be very careful. Be very careful. Because 14 to of the book of Proverbs says, there is a way that smack right unto a man. For the end thereof are the ways of death. It's only God's money and God's blessings that can stand the test of time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11 says, He makes all things beautiful in His own time. When God blesses you in your own time, you enjoy your money. You are not going and looking back because somebody is wanting you. You have peace of mind. He will give you some help to enjoy your money. Not from today, you go to, you go to Japan. They will carry you to Japan, they will carry you to India, they will carry you to, to, to London, medication, everything. No! The blessings of God makes you an adversary. Don't send your bed friends. That is the one for us today. Let's go and fix. I want you to pray for yourself. I say, God, anywhere my bed friends are in the that my glory has departed. I cry for mercy to me. Give me restoration, O Lord. Give me restoration, O Lord, of my bed rights. And the enemy is no more shall not hijack my bed rights, O Lord, and make my life miserable. Open your heart and pray. O God, I pray, O Lord, that give me, O Lord, mercy and restoration. I pray for restoration, O Lord. That every bed right of man that has been taken away, every bed right of man that is being negotiated. Every person of man that they are programming to negotiate and take away. Lord, from stress first transaction, I give it strength. To be able to prepare, I will not lose my pictures. I will not send the pictures. Every weakness in me that can bring about sending my pictures this morning, Lord. 
be my glory. I said, you mean, Lord, strengthen every weakness in my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ, most powerful name, we have prayed. But I will thank you for worship. Thank you for your work. Thank you for instructing us and thank you for empowering us to be able to start and start fair against all the ploys of the wicked. Thank you for not sell out our best birthrights. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the world. We receive it, O Lord, and the power to happen and to adhere to it. We receive this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you are not met with Jesus, anywhere you are, your birthright is already in the market. This is season and time for you to make a turn around and recover what you have lost. Anyway, you are listening today now, begin to confess your sins and ask Jesus, please enter my life. I don't want to die in sin. I don't also want to live a miserable life on earth without my birthright. Please, Jesus, have mercy on me. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, my God, thank you, Jesus. Forgive their sins, O Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you say to confess our sins, for faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ, we just start to name we are praying. If you want Jesus in your life, you say this prayer of faith after me. You say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died for you at the cross of Calvary. And on the third day, you rose again, and I might be justified. Thank you for saving me from my sins and from Satan. To serve the living God. For today, I believe I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray with you. Father, the grace that saved this one shall preserve their Lord. That the day you will come, they shall not be found out. Any of their better right laws, now that they have come to the kingdom, let there be a restoration. For see, if anyone is in Christ, any creature, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Let there be a restoration of every lost death right in the name of Jesus.